Okay, y'all, I think we're ready for coat number two, part two on repurposing canvases. All right, here we go. Coat number two, coming right up. I think we need a little more light in here. Let me open the blinds. There, shed a little more light on the subject there. That make it a whole heck of a lot easier to see what we're doing. A nice thick coat on here this time. That way maybe this will be the final coat on these. And then they'll be ready to use. Again, these are some canvases that I purchased at the Goodwill Bin store in Oklahoma City. Purchased them by the pound and we got 13 of them. So we're gonna have 13 large canvases that we can work with. thing I want to do is because I'm going to paint over these main thing I want to do is get as much of the underneath painting covered as I possibly can That's good on that one. Get that boomer, get that boomer covered up right there. Y'all, I'm an OSU fan, <clears throat> so just saying is all. Trying as hard as I can to get as smooth of lines as I possibly can. And the second coat isn't going on quite as smooth as the first one. But that's okay. We're just repurposing these canvases anyway. This canvas has a little bit of a puncture mark right there, but that's all right. It's it'll be perfect still for a. It'll still be perfect for a practice canvas. Yeah, there's a few imperfections on this one, but. Not a big deal, really, like I said. Be a good practice canvas. I may let the great grandbabies play on play with this canvas. Let them make a nice, cool picture for the mama. See, it turned out pretty good. There's still, you can see a little bit of it through it, but once we get a regular painting going on it you won't be able to see that part underneath at all
This was really a cute painting. I almost hated to paint over this one. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't see my artwork ever in the Goodwill bin store. That would be kind of uh, sad to me. And I know that I shared this earlier in the first video that Ms. Carol Borg was, Borg was the one that told me to use kills to paint over these and reprimer them to pre-purpose them. She does not have a Facebook page, um, but she is a fantastic artist. And she is a world of knowledge and tips and tricks and information. And the tips and tricks that she shared with me, I like to pass it on if I possibly can. Now, this one may take another coat and kind of still see through it. That's it for part two, coat number two. I think these are gonna turn out pretty good to be able to use to repurpose. I'll rinse that brush out. And again, y'all, we're using Kills. Original is what I'm using. So, that is it for part two of the canvas repurposing. Well, part two of four of the canvases. We will catch you next time. We may combine this part two in with repurposing some of the others. So anyway, be sure and hang tight for some more. Catch you next time.